Okay then my friends, so now we're able to resort the chapters on the front end using this sortable library, right? But now, once we've changed the order on the front end, we want to send that updated order to the back end so it can be updated in the database. And then in turn, the chapter's numbers can be updated in the browser, right? So to do this, we'll be using HTMX to send an AJAX request from inside this function, which fires whenever we finish sorting an item. Now, I'm gonna move pretty quickly through all of this code because a lot of it isn't necessarily HTMX or Laravel specific, but you can always download the code from the course files on GitHub if you wanna go through it slowly on your own. But anyway, the general gist of what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna apply a custom data attribute to each chapter, and the value of that is gonna be the ID of that particular record. And in fact, you know what, we'll do that now. So let's go to the chapters page and we're going to find each individual chapter item and we'll give it a data hyphen ID attribute and the value of that is going to be double curly braces first of all and then whatever the chapter ID is. So when we move a chapter into another position in the list the function is going to fire right and then the first thing we'll do is grab the ID of each chapter using that little data attribute we just added and we're going to put them all inside an array in order, how they should be ordered, right? So that's the ID we're putting in, remember? Not the current order, the ID of each chapter in order inside the array. So that array will reflect the new order of chapters, right? So what we're going to do then is convert that array into an object where the keys are going to be the indexes of the order and the values will be the IDs of the records. Then we're going to use HTMX to send an AJAX request to the server with that JSON object on the server, we'll look at that object and reorder the records according to it. And in response, we're gonna send back the re-rendered chapter list template with the updated chapter order. Then in the browser, that's gonna get swapped into where the old chapter list was so that we can see those updated chapter numbers. I hope that kind of all makes sense. So now we're gonna put all of this together, but like I said, I am gonna move through this code rather quickly because there's a fair amount of code. And I think otherwise this could end up being a 30 minute video. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is grab the IDs of each chapter in order, right? So the order they're currently sitting in after we've just rearranged something. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a little piece of code from the course files and I'm gonna paste it in right here and explain it. So we create a constant called order and we set that equal to array dot from. So we're creating an array from something and then we say sortable dot children. So sortable remember is the container around all of the chapter items and then children references the children inside them. So we're making an array from those elements and we're mapping those into a new array where we take that child and we get the data ID attribute from each one. So remember this thing right here, the data ID attribute, which is just the ID of that particular chapter. So say for example, at the end of it, we have an ID array, which looks something like this, three, seven, two, nine, one, right? And that is not the order number, right? That is the ID of the chapter, the unique ID. The order of the chapters is the order they're placed in the array. So we're basically saying, look, the chapter with this ID is chapter one. The chapter with this ID is chapter two. This is chapter three, chapter four, etc. Okay, so that's what we're going to end up with, an array of ordered chapters. Okay then, so that's the first step done. The next thing we'd want to do is convert that array into an object so that that can be serialized and sent as JSON using uh, HTMX AJAX requests. So let me, again, copy a piece of code and I'm going to paste it in right here. And I say, let values equal this empty object. And then I take the order, which is that array. And I say for each fire a function where we take in the value inside the array and the index. And then for each one of those, we take this values object and we add on a key, which is a template string. And that string is order and then array syntax, and then the index, that's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, is equal to whatever the value is. So that's the ID of the chapter. So essentially, we're going to have a lot of properties with these kind of keys where we have the order of each, or rather the, the index of each chapter right here, and then the value of each chapter, and that is the ID of each chapter. So then when that comes to Laravel on the back end, it's going to be easy for Laravel to grab the order of the chapters that way. All right, so the next thing we need to do is send a request to the back end using HTMX. So we can say HTMX and then use the AJAX method on that. And we need to specify that this is going to be a post request. And then 
we need to specify an endpoint. So I will say forward slash outline, forward slash chapters, forward slash, and then we're going to call this one reorder. So we're going to make this route and also the controller function for this inside the chapter controller later on. Anyway, the third argument is an object for a bunch of different options. The first one is going to be the values that we're sending, and that is just this thing right here, the values itself. So let's paste that in. And that can be shortened if you want to, to just be values like so. All right, so the next thing is going to be the target. So, you know, like when we send post requests or put requests from individual things, uh, like this, for example, we sent a get request um, and then we have a target which specifies where the response content will go. And we have the swap, which says how we swap it. Well, we can do the same thing with htmx.ajax. We can specify a target and that is going to be the chapter hyphen list because once we've sent this post request, we want Laravel to send back the updated fragment for the chapter list with the correct order. All right, once we've updated that order in the database, and then we're going to replace that chapter list with the new one. All right, so then we also need to say swap. And notice this is not hx target or hx swap, and that's because we're already kind of within the HTMX sphere, if you like. We don't need to specify it again. Whereas when we're using just regular HTML elements, well, we do need to use hx. All right, so the swap strategy is going to be the outer html to replace the entire thing all right so now we need to do two things we need to create a route for this and we also need to create a controller to handle a push request to that route so let's do the route first of all i'm going to go to the web routes file and i'm going to paste this in we're going to go inside this group right here so let me paste it in and you see this time I'm not using resource. And by the way, we have to add another one because this resource helper right here, it doesn't create custom controllers for us and link them up. It only does the basic CRUD ones. So if we want some kind of custom action, then we have to manually create the route for that and link it up to that action. So we say this is going to be a post route and the, uh, the path is forward slash chapters forward slash reorder. Remember, it's prefixed with outline, so it will be forward slash outline before this, which is what we send the request to right here, yeah? So then we link it up to the chapter controller, and we specify the action name right here, which is reorder, and we give this a name, chapters.reorder, all right? So again, it's going to be prefixed with outline, so the name of this route is actually going to be outline.chapters.reorder, all right? So then, now we can create the reorder action inside this chapter controller. All right, so down here then, let's create another public function. We'll say public function, we'll call this reorder, and we take in the request, so let's do that. And then inside this function, what do we want to do? Well, we want to do a few different things. The first thing we want to do is grab all the order data, so the stuff we send, the values right here from the request. So we can do that by saying dollar sign order is equal to the request. And much like we grab the data from any other kind of request input. So if we take a look up here to where we have, or in fact, we, we validate, don't we? So we do it slightly differently. So we can grab the data from the request directly by saying request and then from the input, which is the order, right? So it's going to grab all the order keys from that request body, the data that we send with it. And it's going to be stored then in this array called order. So that's going to be an array of all the different book IDs in order. So then we want to cycle through those and we want to update each record, don't we? So let's do that. I'm going to paste in a bit of code to do that. So we use a for each and we cycle through the order array and we grab the index and the chapter ID from each one. Then we look in the database in the chapter table where the ID is equal to the chapter ID, this one right here. And we update the order to be the index of whatever that chapter ID was inside this array plus one. And we plus one because this is a zero based array, right? The beginning uh, position is zero. Now we don't have chapter zero, so we have to add one to it. All right, so that's us updating the order of the chapters inside the table. The next thing we want to do is grab those chapters again. So let's paste this line of code in. We say chapters is equal to chapter, order by, the order, and then get them so they're all in order. Uh, the next thing we want to do is find out if this was an HTMX request, 
well, we know it's probably going to be, but let's just grab this variable anyway, as we have done in the past. And then the final thing we need to do is return a fragment of the chapter list. So let's paste this in. We return a view, which is the outline.chapters.index. So that's the chapters list. And then we pass in the chapters themselves, which we grabbed here now in order with the updated uh, chapter order. And we also pass in that flag because we use it inside that view is HTMX. And we just want to return a fragment from that, which is the chapter list. And that is it now, my friends. So now when we reorder, we grab all of the IDs in that new order. We convert it into an object. We send those values using HTMX to the server, to this route right here. And that triggers the reorder action to fire. We grab those orders, those IDs. We update the IDs or rather the order of those IDs inside the chapter table. We then refetch the chapters in order we work out whether this was an HTMX request, which we know it is, but then we pass that value into the view anyway. And we return this fragment from the view, which is the chapter list with those new chapters. So let's see if this works. All right, so the moment of truth. So you can see chapter one, chapter two, three, four, and five, right? Let's try moving chapter four all the way up to the top. So once I've done this, once I've let go, it should fire that function, make the request, and we should get the updated chapter list back and it should update the order. So chapter four at the top should then turn to chapter two and the following chapters should update as well to go to two, then three, then four and so forth. So let's try this. Yep, did you see that little flick at the end where it four changed to two and the rest of them updated as well? Okay, so this one, my new chapter, let's move that right up to two. Now, when we do this, chapter one shouldn't change because it's not affected, but chapter five should go to two and the rest should update as well, which they do. Awesome. So that's all working now.